quick note before we start on this one. Apologies in advance for the quality of Liv's audio in this session. Their main recording file was corrupted for this session, unfortunately, so we had to rely on a backup recording instead. Normally this isn't a huge issue quality-wise, but for this one it is quite a big dip. It should still be listenable enough to enjoy, but yeah, sorry about that. There's not much we can do in this case. I hope you do enjoy it, though, because this is still a really fun little session. And you will see why right away here. It's been a little while since the big incident with Crimson Signal. You've had time to rest and relax, you've had time to recoup and get back into the swing of normal life. Perhaps a little too into the swing of normal life at this point. There's a lot of day-to-day -day stuff that needs to be taken care of still. Y'all are still teenagers with responsibilities. And as it turns out, a couple of you have sibling responsibilities in particular. For instance, Lucia, your family is very hustle and bustle, always on the go, people in and out of the house all the time. And your parents in particular are quite busy this Saturday afternoon. I'm sure Judge Gabby has a very important case she has to attend to. Andre probably has like a big, I don't know, engineering architect meeting, whatever he has to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Teo, of course, is never available ever for anything. <laughs> And who knows where Ren is? Probably at some type of showing. Something. Wasting time somewhere. Mm -hmm. They have a way of getting out of the house before parents can ask them to do things. It's a little uncanny. And it's just like, it's frustrating because like, I'm an artist too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> they don't know it. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, so that leaves you as the eldest in the house at the moment, and Ava is feeling quite rambunctious. You know when she gets like this, she needs to go out and play and let off some steam. I go kick Tony's door open. I just kick Tony's door open. Oh, what do you want? What are you doing? I'm 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 in the middle of something and he gestures to his computer playing the Fortnites. Are you going to be here for the next 45 minutes or 3 hours? I mean, yeah. I'm locking you in the house. Sure, whatever. Okay, text me if you need me. But don't need me. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> not long after you leave, you get a text of a a middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> I screenshot it and I send it to our mom. <laughs> <laughs> he's a 12-year-old boy. He's he's getting into yeah. being edgy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Not Tony the Edge Lord. <laughs> oh, no. He finally figured out how cool Hot Topic is. Now that's all he wants to buy. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I screenshot it and I save it for later. I make sure it's dated. Um, I lock the front door. <laughs> And I just, like, turn to Ava, sigh, and I'm like, all right, we're going to the park. <gasps> yeah, yeah, park, 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 park! And she runs, like, in circles around you. <laughs> and she, like, stumbles a bit as she runs to go get, like, some of her dinosaur toys to bring with her. Gosh. Yeah, I I guess go on I idol Twitter? Songbird? <laughs> Bird app? Oh my god, I like Songbird, actually. Thank you. Sure, it's Songbird now. Um, Although I think yeah, we've mentioned I, Twitter too. Maybe it's a dedicated true. idol spinoff. Idols only, like uh, it's fan the house. new. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the new social media that everybody's using. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, an yeah. official Twitter idol sponsored spinoff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A hundred percent. But yeah, I like tweet something out or send something out that's like, yeah. "Am I taking my younger self into the park, or am I walking the dog, or is there even a difference?" And I just like. <laughs> throw my phone back into my bag and wait for Ava to get all of her little toys before we go to the park. Yeah, you can see in the photo just like a blur of what looks like a small child holding an armful of toys. <laughs> She's so cute, though. Like, Lucia actually does take a good picture and saves it. Aww. Doesn't post it. Nice. Saves it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful of posting kids' pictures online. I would never. <laughs> 
Lucia's not the only person with sibling troubles to worry about. We head over to the Blake household, where there is shouting. So much shouting. <laughs> Freddy, for the last time, I, I can't even with you today. J you, Angie, you have to take him out. I can't deal with him right now. There's too much pasta sauce on the ceiling. I can't deal this with this right now. So Angie was like on the couch trying to read and understand one of like mom's finance magazines, <laughs> you know, cause she's, you know, thinking about starting her own business when she's out of school. She's got to pick up on stuff now. Ooh. And she's like, why do I have to do it? Because your father is out for the afternoon and I certainly can't. <sighs> Fine. And I like slap the the magazine on the table. Freddy! And he, like, kind of nooms past, like, running through the living room and around to the, like, dining room area. <laughs> He's holding one of his Nerf guns. I'm gonna, like, pick him up by the waist, you know, safely. I've probably done this a lot. Hey, Angie, what the- ah, Angie, no, wait, what are you doing? Ah! We're going to the park. And then I, uh, drop him so he lands on his feet, like, by the door. Put on your shoes. <laughs> He's already out the door. For, oh, he's got the Nerf gun, and then I follow him. You also notice as he runs out the door, the Nerf gun is full of pasta sauce. Oh no. It's more like a water gun, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run after him, and I'm gonna take the gun, and I'm like, no, we're not gonna risk getting the police involved again. And then I'm just gonna go take it back inside. And if Freddy tries to complain, I'm gonna do like my index Aww. finger, like don't even argue with me. And then just kinda, Aww. you know, hold it with my pointer finger and thumb and then just kinda leave it by the door. <laughs> Be like, all right, let's go. Sucks. Make sure you hold my hand before we cross the street. He crosses his arms, but he does follow behind you. <laughs> <laughs> just pouting. Yeah, and it's September, right? So. Oh yeah, it's October now. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got like a, you know, a spring jacket on and some like fancy looking sneakers or whatever and jeans. Yeah. And I'm just gonna walk to the nearest park, I guess. Yeah, I think you managed to get Freddy back in the house long enough to get his coat on at least. And he gets yeah. distracted quickly enough, like crunching leaves under his feet. Yeah. And honestly, I'm pretty good at wrangling Freddy these days, especially I think, you know, I want some brownie points being like a cool super idol and stuff that can punch oh, for people sure. so that's why he's not like just outright refusing to go with you <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> he does simper down a bit yeah yeah <laughs> yeah deep down and not even deep down like very deep very shallowly beneath the surface he does like think his big sister is pretty cool and stuff yeah so yes, you both end up heading in the same general direction because y'all happen to live in the same school district and you are near the same local playground park. Mm -hmm, at least the nice one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't going to like cheap out and go to the one with only one slide. Yeah, <laughs> that has a bunch of like splinters in the wooden equipment that's still there for oh. some reason. Yeah, no, yeah. not the trauma that just came from that <laughs> It's the nicer one with, like, the new metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and the, stuff. like, bouncy material underneath. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you, you head to the nice park. Oh, what's the nice park called? We already have Lansbury Park. I wonder what else this could be. Oh, wait. Why is her name escaping me? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Andrew's Park. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was trying to think of Julie Andrews. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I was thinking, like, who's the counterpart to Angela Lansbury again? Right. <laughs> Mary Poppins and Miss Price. That works. Yeah. 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 So you're on the way to Andrew's Park, the park with all the nice structures and slides and swings and merry-go-rounds and whatnot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you spot each other as you're arriving to the park, coincidentally, at roughly the same time. Wow. Imagine that. <laughs> um, yeah. So we walk in and I kind of push freddy like towards the, <laughs> the structure and be like go play or whatever yeah he's heading straight for the merry-go-round i think he's one of those kids who spins it really fast and like jumps off of it yeah he's totally what a neighborhood hero <laughs> yeah lucia kind of like jolts when she sees angie 
then like <laughs> grabs Ava just by the top of her head, one handed like a basketball, <laughs> 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 um, and like tilts her head back and says like, "Don't be a little weirdo." And then I like push her off. To go- <laughs> <laughs> I, what, I don't. I don't think I'm weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just be chill. <laughs> I think she goes off to one of the lower equipment areas where she can just like pretend that she's putting her dinosaurs in like a little scene. Aww. Aww. I think one thing I'll say is a uh, little world building about Freddy. I think like Angie and Freddy are those kids that both look like obviously siblings. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Freddy could be Angie except a 10 year old boy. <laughs> Like, there's just no question that they're they're related. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never really thought too, too much about some of the other siblings. I know that in my heart, Tao wears glasses because he's Mm. a goddamn nerd. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think Ava, again, yeah, looks like Lucia. Not nearly like (laughs) (laughs) clone-esque Freddie and Angie, but like, just, you know, this, like, little curly-haired black kid. She probably has, like, the twists that you always have when you're, like, little and black with, like, the knockers at the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she says a bunch of those all over. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. And just, just a little cutie pie. Yeah, I imagine her in a lot of, like, lavenders and blues and whatnot, kind of similar to, like, the colors on the background of Lucia's official art. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see that. They both like to rock overalls. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Just one of them does it because, you know, it's fashion and the other one does it out of necessity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I spotted Lucia, but I wanted to get, like, Freddy away from me before I <laughs> approached yeah. her. For now, the kids yeah. are away from you and away from each other, so everything is in balance for the moment, at least. And there are some benches nearby that you can sit on. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at Lucia and then I'll kind of, like, incline my head to the benches Lucia's gonna like stuff her hands in her pockets and like walk over to the bench and like when she's close to Angie just sat. <sighs> Babysitting duty, you too? Yeah. Everybody else is off running around or doing work or whatever, so Yeah. Um Freddie had a super soaker of pasta sauce and was squirting it at my mom, so I had to bring him here to burn off some energy. And then we look over and Freddy's like running around super fast. <laughs> Lucia looks utterly shocked. Like there's a lot of shenanigans that go on at her house, but what? Yeah. yeah he's very creative. Yeah. 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 That's that takes a big vision. He wanted to take the Nerf gun with him. And I like watch as Freddy's like just running and just I can see that. I can see that for him. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like randomly jumping too, and it does not look safe, but like I don't seem to be bothered by it. For yeah, some he's reason. jumping from like the merry go round to like the nearby monkey bars and just like bouncing off of everything. I think like Lucia takes this time to glance over at Ava, who is probably just creating like a little ecosystem, recreating land before time or whatever with her dinosaurs, and says a silent prayer. Just says a silent prayer of thanks and appreciation. <laughs> you know the like the little tic tac toe spinners. Yes. <laughs> she starts to set some of them on top of it so that she can have like some of them at different levels and have like a dramatic scene where like the T Rex comes over the hill and roars and that kind of thing. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's cute. Uh yeah, she's the youngest. Um, it's actually. Her, and then there's my brother Tony who's back home and there's me and then there's my big sibling Ren and then the eldest Matteo. Uh, it's just me and Freddie and my parents. Um, as you can see you can probably understand why they stopped at Freddie and then I just like gesture to him. He like does a backflip for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like standing, leaps, flips, lay. He's trying to take after his big sister. Yeah. Aww. I might have taught him that. Wow. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. You're pretty sporty. I mean, he has a lot of energy to burn. Yeah. I think I like look over at Ava. I guess she's creative. 
I don't know. Like they say the dinosaur phase is supposed to like die out by the time, like, I don't know, five or something like every like little kid likes dinosaurs, but she like loves dinosaurs. Yeah. Freddie went through a dinosaur phase. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe she'll be a scientist or something. Maybe. But, you know, just kind of sucks. Like, again, I get it. People are busy. But, like, I'm busy, too. My parents know that I have super idle stuff. They I know, know, right? I have to babysit, right? I was trying to research for my future business. Business? Yeah. Because, well, eventually, you know, after we, like, destroy all the corporations and stuff, I figure, you know, um, idols need, like, better equal representation. You know what I mean? Mm Mm-hmm. Like, not somebody who's going to, like, screw them over. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, I've just been doing research. And I don't know, maybe, like, I'll go to school for it or whatever. I'm not sure yet. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I guess. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I mean, before I joined Rhythmics, like, I was always preparing to be, you know, a solo idol. But, like, you can't be an idol forever. Or at least that's what they say. I think you could. Thanks. I, think... I mean, you could, too. If you yeah. want. Thanks. Appreciate that. I would hope that we get to go at least for a while and, you know, like, don't get any, like, real scandals or whatever. No. Although we do have to tour after, like, we're done with high school. Because, like, touring in high school, cool, fine, okay, whatever. But, like, touring as adults? So true. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's not go to the States, though, because, like, you can't drink there until you're 21. What is up with that? That's why they come here for spring break and stuff. It's just so that they can drink. Isn't... Is, I think it's the same in the UK. Like, it's got a lower drinking age. So we can tour around the UK, too. And then Jaden can show us, like, where he's from and stuff. That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and maybe we can go to Japan. That'd be pretty cool. Because, like, artists always sell, like, special albums in Japan. So, like, you know, we'd have to do that, too, to, like, promote it and whatever. Yeah, like, a special, like, only, like, these singles for Japan only. And, like, Valerie's not going to say that, but, like, I saw her pulling up her phones on her app. And she has, like, a bunch of anime streaming apps. (gasps) No way. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Which like I, I mean, forgot that you didn't her. know. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why she's given me such good recommendations. I don't know why I'm surprised even. No, I mean like it makes sense. Yeah. And she's got like that kind of gothic Lolita vibe. That's true. And I mean, she comes up with a lot of cool ideas for our show. Yeah. hmm Freddie! I was about to say if you if you've come to a point in the conversation where where you need an interruption, I have one if you need whenever you need one. <laughs> I just figure, you know, he's gonna be doing something. I can't take my eye off him. You can't take your eye off of Freddy. <laughs> no, never. It's been silent for too long. Freddy must be doing something. <laughs> totally. Totally. He was just waiting for me to look away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was trying to harass some kids on the slide, probably. <sighs> <sighs> okay, I gotta take care of this. <laughs> I'll just, like, march over there. Freddy, what did we talk about? Not getting caught! And he slides down the slide away from you. <laughs> and he runs kind of away in the other direction towards where Ava is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna run after him. And I will probably catch him, like, just before he goes to, I don't know, destroy her little dinosaur city or whatever, and be like, no, we're not crushing little girl's dreams again today. (laughs) And you can see, like, Ava, like, just saw him, like, running, like, barreling towards her little scene, and you can see, like, she gets kind of scared for a sec, and she goes like, ah! 
sorry, kiddo. And then I'm just going to have Freddy, like, squirming. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, like in one arm. Yeah, I think he does calm down after a sec, because I think he just wanted to see if he could get away from you, and (laughs) you you did catch him. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Lucia's going to, like, walk over... Um, not do anything or say anything, just stand there. <laughs> Observe. <laughs> I'll put Freddy on my shoulders because he really likes that. Because, <laughs> like, unlike my dad, you know, he's not the most muscular guy, so he can't even really lift Freddy anymore. So it is usually Angie and her mom that are doing <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> although it is getting more awkward for you now because Freddy is getting older now and he's a lot bigger than he used to be. Yeah, but, so yeah, I do that so that I can make him laugh <laughs> and like spin in circles and stuff. Yeah, I think that'll placate him for now. Uh, whenever you like set him down again, I think Ava's calmed down a bit again. And when she sees that Freddy's having fun, she thinks maybe this is something I can have fun with too. And she like grabs her triceratops and kind of shyly walks up to the two of you and like offers it to you and Freddy. <laughs> Aww. That's so cute. Do you want do you want to see my ceratops? Does your ceratops have a name and I'm going to kneel down? Mhm. And she nods. I'll make sure Freddy's nice. <laughs> her 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 name is C- Candace. Oh, hi Candace, nice to meet you. Say hi to Candace, Freddy. Uh, hi, hi, Candace. And he looks like a little confused. But uh, Ava says, Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name's Candace. Aw, <laughs> uh, she's cute. <laughs> Lucia, like, rolls her eyes. But she's definitely, like, holding back a smile. And would probably just, like, walk over, kneel down next to Ava, too. And it's just like, So do you want to play with us? Or are you going to keep playing with your dinosaurs? Oh, can, do you do you want to play dinosaurs? We can play dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think a lot of you sit down to play dinosaurs for a bit. I think Freddy's been running around enough that even he's like, he's not tired, but he's burnt off enough energy that he can just play with toys for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. think despite like all the chaos he does to his family, I think he knows that Angie would be really pissed if he just bullied this random little kid. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> he's probably behaving. I think what he does in that case is he takes the the the, the T Rex, not takes takes it, but like he's playing with Terry the T Rex and Candace the Triceratops that Ava has, and he starts to like imitate Angie with this T Rex, like <laughs> making it do backflips and like try to punch with its little arms. <laughs> and he says like, "Yeah, like I I could totally beat you up." <laughs> Yeah, and it's such an obvious impression of Angie, too. <laughs> and I'm going to say, yes, yeah, she can. And then I'm like going to stroke his hair affectionately or something. Just kind of <laughs> like a smooth get it out of his eyes kind of thing. So he's definitely one of those kids that does not like getting his hair cut. So it's like all in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Ava, Ava yeah. counters with like, no, I'm going to beat you up. I'm, I'm, I'm way better. And she, <laughs> she starts to like doing the like little dinosaur shoving the toys in each other's faces kind of thing like rah, 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 rah. <laughs> yeah lucia's like yeah get them <laughs> <laughs> i think after a sec freddy escalates it a sec and he stops doing the indirect impression of angie and he starts going like you know who's even stronger than a t-rex is and he points up to angie like my big sister you know what i bet and he points to Lucia that she could beat up you. Uh, <laughs> Lucia just like blinks because like, uh, okay. <laughs> Even like Angie's a little stunned and she's like, Freddie, uh, Lucia and I are on the same. And then I was like, wait, do they know? Should I just say? <laughs> uh, team. Team. We're on yeah. the same team at school. We're on the we're on the same team. I'm not going to beat her up, even though I could. Oh, but you you totally <laughs> could. Like, you could do, like, a cool sparring thing like Jean-Claude Van Damme does. Don't ask how he knows who that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a really big fan of, like, 80s and 90s <laughs> kung fu movies for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Reggie's secret passion that he lets his son watch. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, Lucia definitely kind of like raises her brows at the like, even though I could thing. It is like, okay. <laughs> Oh, come on, please, 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 please. It'd be really cool. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, kid, I'm not going to embarrass your sister like that. Not in front of you. Uh, embarrass me? I think I would be the one embarrassing you. Mm, okay. From down below, you hear Ava just go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like look down at Ava and I'm like, funny, huh? And she just, like, claps a little bit like she's excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Angie, and I kind of, like, look her in the eye. You know, you're a very good offense, but there's a lot of ways that I could play defense. And I just don't think that you could outsmart me. Oh, yeah? And she, like, crosses her arms. <laughs> Meanwhile, Freddy's like, yeah. <laughs> he's he's Ken Watanabe, let them fight. <laughs> yeah, Lucia just kind of shrugs, like, hmm. I mean, not in a real fight. Do you want to do a. And then I, like, put my hand over, like, you know, to cut my mouth so that the kids don't see. And I'll probably be like, pretend fight. Lucia just kind of, like, does, like, a quick wink. So, you know, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think you do get both of the kids, like, actually sitting at attention like they want to see this yeah <laughs> for some reason all the other little neighborhood kids have joined in yeah they know when a rumble's gonna go down <laughs> a semicircle of kids all of a sudden <laughs> they're all clustered around the tic-tac-toe like just watching you out near the edge of the playground <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. well the only answer is to settle this on the field. And then I point to, like, the really tiny soccer field that they use for, like, five-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> it's just beside. And, yeah, Lucia's gonna, like, tilt her head up, nice and tall and proud, or as <laughs> much as she can, and, <laughs> like, stomp over to the field. And so is Angie. <laughs> with her personal cheering section, Freddy. <laughs> yeah, you Pied Piper this little parade of kids with you over to the little soccer field and set up on either <laughs> end of the thing. Um, yeah, and like, Lucia does like a big show of like stretching out her arms and cracking her knuckles. Yeah, that's exactly what Angie's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> and we probably don't have to actually roll moves for this. You could just improv this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I don't know, I think we know enough about each other and her tricks to know, like, mm-hmm. oh, Angie would obviously be able to, like, dodge this and make it look real and just that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. And plus, um, it's not a protected area and we don't want to hurt the kids. Yeah, yeah. Very much so. Yeah. yeah, like, you're probably not transforming for this. No, 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 no not no. at all. Yeah, but I think, yeah, just, like, a lot of, like, Throwing fists and like ah, and the dramatic yells and yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it's Take that, power Rangers. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and the kids are just eating it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe we go for a while and then we're both like doing that Power Ranger thing where we're both like really tired, like <sighs> yeah. <sighs> <sighs> and I think like at some point we like grab each other's like hands really dramatically and like push like ah and just, like <laughs> <laughs> D- double knockout I don't know I really don't know how this would work yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's okay, okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah so then I'm like ah! and I'm like ah! coming in with my fist and then we just both like punch each other <laughs> quote unquote <laughs> stage punch each other in the cheek and then fall backward. Yeah, yeah just like <laughs> starfish style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you get uproarious cheers from your cheering section, both of you. Because <laughs> all these small children like, yeah, let them fight. Yeah. <laughs> I think once you go down, they actually start to swarm you and like mm-hmm. <laughs> try to get you back up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna make like a big effort to show that like I was really hurt in that fight. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Be like, I need your shoulder, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you can do it, Angie. <laughs> I, think, uh, <laughs> I believe in you. I think Lucy is like, Ava, call mom and dad. Call an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> she's 
she, she's like biting her lip. Like she's, I, I think she's like not sure if she believes it or not. Yeah, she's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> she gives like the silent nod. <laughs> yeah, and I like get up and like dramatically like nod at Angie. Like, hmm, we we'll have to fight another day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I do too. It'll just say something like, "You're a worthy opponent" or something like that. Mm-hmm. And just a rival. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you do that hearty, like, anime rival handshake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Draped on the backs of children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kids are cheering. A couple of them have, like, coloring book paper, and they're holding up pieces of paper that say, like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't even know where they got the paper from, but... <laughs> I, all of a sudden, it is it is um, like X Factor judging. Like they're like checking to see if we can be the next great stage fighters. Yeah, I think at this point though, you've definitely managed to like entertain and tucker out these kids. Yeah, um, I think I would convince them to do a bit of Red Rover to like really tire them out before mm. we. Uh, oh we god, go yeah, home. that's the ultimate tactic. Oh yeah, and then I super do that thing where you like lift you know, the little kids so that they can't get through. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, eventually things do start to wind down and your siblings do start to, their movements finally start to slow a little bit and (laughs) Ava (laughs) comes over to tug on the bottom of your jacket, Lucia, and is like, I'm tired. Can we go get dinosaur nuggets? I think Lucia would like kneel down and kind of like fix her clothes because man when kids play they really look like they just went through a hurricane um, <laughs> so I think she's just like kind of like fixing her clothes and it's just like yeah no let me get home Um, I'll make you some nuggies I think mom's case is gonna go late yay and ice cream no <laughs> ice cream we can have ice cream after Tony goes up to his room to play his stupid video games and it's just BS okay yeah! <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> Go get your toys. Okay. <laughs> she goes to dutifully to get her toys. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> uh, now <laughs> Freddy turns deviously to Angie and asks, Ice cream? Uh, we'll ask Mom when we get home. Come on, Betty. I'll give you a piggyback. Okay. <laughs> and he, he <laughs> happily accepts the ride. Yeah. Yeah, I think when Ava gets back... Lucia, like, takes her bag of toys and and a rare thing, because I don't think Lucia does this for her very often, like, scoops her up and, like, starts carrying her for this part of the walk. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think partway through the walk, you can hear her, like, she's, like, half asleep on on your shoulder. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll carry her home. (laughs) Um, yeah, whereas Freddy... Um, isn't quite like that. He's like, onward! (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna wave to Lucia and Ava and then probably take off running all the way home. (laughs) Just Naruto run with Freddy on your back. (laughs) Yeah. What dynamic siblings. Incredible. (laughs) Yeah. Thank you for listening to the second of our four interlude minisodes. Angie slash Bane Kitten was played by T, and Lucia slash Trixie was played by Liv Chavez, who can be found on Twitter at Live in a Day. Dialogue and cleanup editing was done by Kathleen Childs, whose work can be found on the Sword of Symphonies podcast at PeachGardenGames.com. Full credits for these minisodes will appear at the end of the fourth installment. In the meanwhile, Here's a shout out to this week's cheerleaders on Patreon Circus, Eric Kune, Great Big James, and Jordan Cuttlefish. Thanks so much for your support, and stick around for an ad from some of our friends at Be Gay Roll Dice. Come listen to Dice or Roll, the gayest Pathfinder podcast on the planet. We ask the hard questions like Is it cool to use spell slots to warm up leftovers? Would the gods be mad if I wrote slash fake about them? We're a group of four friends who play Pathfinder 2nd Edition every week and go on adventures like none other. 
we've just launched our brand new season, Extinction Curse, which follows the adventures of the Circus of Wayward Wonders, as they put on the greatest show in all of Galarian and uncover ancient secrets and long-forgotten foes from a bygone era. If you like circuses, clowns, and a little bit of magic, come check us out, and make sure that no matter what, you keep it rolling.